Hi students, coming to our next topic in the subject object oriented programming language is constructors. So what is a constructor? Actually it is a special function uh, that has function name same as class name. So whatever the class name is same as the constructor name. So that's why we call it as a special function. So constructor is a special function, okay, because the class name is same as the constructor name. Actually, it is used, why we are using the constructors? It is used to, it is used to construct and initialize all the data members. Okay, so that's why we call it as a constructor means we are constructing that what we are constructing we are constructing the data members. So it is used to construct and initialize all the data members means the variables. So whatever you are using in the program the data members that you are constructing means you are declaring and you are initializing that you call it as a constructor. So the constructor name that is a function name is same as the class name. So that is it's the speciality of the constructors. It is automatically called when an object is created. Okay. So automatically called the constructors will automatically call when they called when an object is created when object is created so they have no parameters and they have no written values okay so that is a constructors so let us see what is a how the constructor program okay so suppose a class a so here the a is the class name int x is the data members public so public a so here this is the constructor this is the constructor did you observe that here the class name is same as the constructor name so whatever the data functions that we are using that will be declared as a public so that's why public a okay with no parameters so this is a constructor so constructor can be defined either inside the class class definition or outside the class definition okay that means a constructor can be defined can be defined inside the class definition or outside the class definition so you can define uh, inside the class definition or you can call it as outside the class definition with the help of a class name okay how you uh, call that let us see class a okay so int i is a variable public so a this is here I declare the constructor. Declare constructor. Okay. So this is inside. So I declare the constructor. Now I am calling the constructor outside the class definition. How I can call? With the class name. A is the class name. And scope resolution operator. So if you want the uh, call the constructor or if any function outside the class definition you have to use this scope resolution operator okay so a is the class name scope resolution operator and the constructor so this is a here you can write the constructor definition means you can initialize the values and you can uh, write the function what op method you have to perform in the constructor so a is the class name and this is a construction name constructor name here i am uh, setting the value i is equal to 1 okay so this is the way you have you can write the constructor so constructor is justly it's just a function 
okay it's the main uh, special speciality about this is the same uh, the class name is same as the constructor name okay so this will be automatic automatically called when an object is created so they have no any uh, they have any number of parameter means you can add they have any number of parameters so now let us see the different types of constructors actually there are three different types of constructors will be there so three different types of constructors are present so let us see what are there so the first one is default constructor default constructor so what we call this default constructor a default constructor is nothing but a constructor with no parameters constructor with no parameters you call it as a default constructor means uh, the parameters will be supplied uh, at the time of the compilation so example let us see the example for this then you will understand what is the ma main what is the default constructor so the here the default constructor means constructor with no parameters so here the class name okay so uh, right uh, let us take the example class cube so cube is a class name now int side side is the data member with the data type int public now i am here i am declaring the constructor that is the cube see here with constructor with no parameters so this is a constructor with no parameters inside the constructor i am writing the value the side is equal to 10 close the constructor and close the class so this is the class now call the main function now so how we'll call just int main so first it enter into a main program after that it is calling the uh, functions so here cube c so i declare an object c okay cube is a class name and c is the object so with the help of this i am calling this constructor with the help of the object i am calling the constructor so just c out c dot side okay so first the program enters here it reads cube c so cube is a class which there and c is the object so with the help of the object i am calling the constructor so that is a c dot side so what will be the output here the output will be 10 so c dot side what is the side value 10 so the output is 10 so this is the default constructor constructor with no parameters without no parameters here no parameters are there so that is default constructor so in this case as soon as the object is created the constructor is called which initializes its data member okay so as soon as the object is created a constructor is called so defaultly whenever the object is created you can call the constructor uh, so which initializes its data members now let us see the second one so what is the second one the second type of constructor is parameterized constructor parameterized constructor so what is this parameterized constructor actually a constructed with parameters you that are used uh, for initializing data members you call it as parameter default constructor means with no parameters parameter is constructed means with parameters so constructed with parameters that are used for when we can use these parameters that are used for initializing 
data members. That you call it as a parameterized constructors. Let us see the example. Then you understand. Example for the parameterized con constructor. Means the constructor with arguments, with parameters. So here the class, again we take the cube, class cube. Public. So inside is the data members. Now coming to constructor cube int x. So here I'm using the arguments. Here I'm using the parameters. So constructor with parameters, you call it as a parameterized constructor. So in the previous example, I didn't use any arguments. I didn't use any parameters. So that's why it is a default constructor. Constructor with no parameters, you call it as a default constructor. And constructor with parameters is parameterized constructor. So int x. Now side is equal to x and the class. Now write the main program. Int main. So now you call the constructor by using the class name cube. Let us see one is the object with value. Cube c2 with value. Cube c3 with value okay so now print these values c out c1 dot side c out i'm just printing the values c2 dot side c out c3 dot side okay so here i'm just calling the constructor so the constructor here i declare already it is a uh, constructed with parameters so that is the data type int so i'm calling this cube is a class name and c1 is the object with the object i'm just calling the constructor so in the previous i already said uh, actually uh, as soon as the object is created the constructor is called which initializes the data members so just it calling this side is equal to x so here the x value is 10 so if it is c2 20 if x is 20 side is 20 if uh, x is 30 side is 30 so here the output is what will be the output for this output is 10 20 30 okay so this is a second type of constructor that is a parameterized constructor. Now let us see the third type. The third type of constructor is. So this is a copy constructor. So, so far we discussed the uh, default constructor, parameterized constructor and the copy constructor. So what is a copy constructor? A copy constructor used when one object of class initialized initialize the when one object of class initialize the other object it takes reference to an object of the same class as an argument of the same class as an argument so here just copy constructor means one object of class will be initialized to the other object just initializing one class object to the another class so you it takes reference to an object of the same class as an argument so let us see the example of the copy constructor so example for this is uh, just class copy con Copycon is a constructor, I uh, means a class name I am taking as a copycon. Int a comma b. So public. Now call the copycon a constructor with arguments. Int x comma int y. Now a is equal to x, b is equal to y. And here the c out is means some initializing. Here is the initialization of a constructor. 
so some statement whatever it may be so just close the copy constructor uh, now I am taking the void display also void display see out here I am entering the values that is A and the new tab and the B okay now close the class so this is a copy constructor just a class a class uh, here I taking a copy constructor to with two arguments and display means to display these values so whatever the values that I entered here the X and Y that values will be displayed here okay so that values will be displayed here a and n and b so let us see uh, the main program void main so this is the now call this copy con object so use when one object of class one object of class initialize the other object so one class object copy con object i am taking as an object so that value will be 30 comma 40 index int y okay so this object now copy constructor just see the difference how i am using the copy constructor now copy con object 2 is equal to object so this object will be used in here so use when one object of class initialize the other object so one object of the class is initialize the other object this is a copy constructor here for object uh, index 30 40 will be initialized that will be initialized to other object that is a copy con object 2 so that's why i have written this copy con object 2 is equal to object now display object dot display so first it takes this and enter into display section and print a is uh, 30 and b is for uh, 40 30 40 again object 2 dot display now it prints again the object 2 because the values are copied here for this also it prints the a value uh, 10 and uh, sorry a value 30 and b value 40 okay so this is about the copy constructor so these are the three uh, different types of constructors that are used in the uh, uh, constructors means constructor you can go for the default constructor or parameterized constructor or uh, this copy constructor thank you